What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's reaction video is going to be Bill Burr is glad Stephen Hawking is dead. That is such a Bill Burr title. It is such a Bill Burr title. Now, I don't know where this is going to go. I don't know what it's going to go down, but I am very interested. Typical Bill Burr with that title, like no one else is going to say them words. Let's pretty much get straight into it. Hit that like button, guys, if you enjoy this kind of content. We did uh, Dave Chappelle's sketch yesterday. If it hasn't been blocked... We did that yesterday and you guys would have seen it. And then we're doing Bill Burr today and we're loving life. It's absolutely hilarious, absolutely loving life. So hit that like button if you like to see this kind of stuff. Hit that subscribe button as well. More reactions coming, guys. We're on the grind. Now, Bill Burr, genius, hilarious, very controversial. And I'm going to enjoy this one. No matter what, even if the jokes don't get me as much, I'm sure I'm going to enjoy it. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. Let's get straight into it. Bill Burr is glad Stephen Hawking is dead. Netflix is a joke. So it's a Netflix production, which is always is a good sign from what I've seen anyway. Uh, so yeah, let's get straight into it. You know, I'm afraid of robots. <laughs> yeah, I saw, one get, I saw one get interviewed on 60 Minutes, the top journalistic program in the United States. And he's just sitting there getting interviewed, not nervous at all, just <laughs> rattling off all the fucking answers, you know? I mean, I wish I was like a robot, not getting nervous at all. I get nervous for any interviews. And like when I say interviews, I mean job interviews because I don't actually get interviewed any other way. But, you know, anxiety comes in, you get a bit nervous and stuff like that. I think it happens to most people, to be honest with you. And uh, yeah, think about it. The robot has nothing to think about that. So, OK, he's definitely going to call Stephen Hawkins a robot. Definitely. Not smoking, not fucking, you know, leaking oil, whatever you would do <laughs> as, a, as, as, as a nervous robot. Right. And, and the report is asking him questions. And in the end, he goes, so tell us. He's like, uh, he's like, what are your goals? And I am alone in a hotel room. And I literally lean towards the TV. I'm like, these fucking things have goals? <laughs> <laughs> and the, the, the fucking robot just answers. He just goes, uh, to be, uh, he goes, what are your goals? And the robot goes, uh, to become smarter than human beings. Oh, damn. Yeah. Oh, no. And the reporter just blows by it. He goes like, okay, and uh, what's your favorite <laughs> color? Yeah, if that was me, just mind blown, like, whoa, get that hammer out, I am knocking you off that body right now, that is scary, man, because it could easily happen one day, hopefully not in my lifetime, it won't happen in my lifetime, I know it for a fact, but one day it could, man, that is a scary thought, wow. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm standing on my bed yelling at the TV, like, dude, unplug that fucking thing, <laughs> take the batteries out! Yep. Pull, the pull the wires out, do something! <laughs> How many sci-fi movies do you have to see before you realize where this is going? <laughs> so anyways, every smart person, every super smart person in the world is saying these fucking things are gonna kill us. Even your boy here, the guy who he recently died, what was his name? He was, uh, he was always sitting down. <laughs> Hawkins, Stephen Hawkins, oh, yeah. Wow. Too good to fucking stand up and make his <laughs> point just sitting down all fucking smarmy. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I care so much. I poured ice on myself. Um, and I showed off my abs at the same time for the gram. No, I'm just fucking with you. I'm so glad that guy's fucking dead, though. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Look man. Look at you guys. You're hard. How much longer do you want him to suffer? You don't believe in an afterlife? Maybe he's up there now, he's, he's, his fucking legs work, he's getting an angelic blowjob. How much longer do you want him to fucking sit there so you could feel better about yourself? Well, at least I'm not all fucking twisted up. <laughs> oh, man. I bet there is a few people who've looked at him before that in my life, man. He just goes in, Bill, but obviously hilarious. See, smart shit, right? <laughs> I couldn't fucking stand that guy. He was so fucking negative. He never had anything positive to say. Hey, Steve, what do you got for us today? In 2035, there'll be no more apples. Thank you, Steve. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Wasn't thinking about that. Now I am. <laughs> hey, so what's the solution? It's too late. We needed to try 40 years ago. Thanks a lot, buddy. I'm going to go cry with my child now. <laughs> Dude, I can hang with that, out with that guy for about three minutes before I took the break off his chair and just zoomed him into the other room. <laughs> The thing is, he definitely would do that as well. It would not surprise me. On the apple thing, though, I mean, that wouldn't affect me. I'd be like, ah, well, it's a bit healthy. I'll just eat junk food. <laughs> hey, Steve, come back in when you got something dumb and positive to say. <laughs> oh, wow. 
a very, very short one, um, but I actually found that hilarious. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I mean, we're getting treated at the moment, aren't we? But finding out who Dave Chappelle is, he's been hilarious in the two reactions I've done. Learning more about uh, Bill Burr, seeing some more of his uh, comedic, comedic stand-up, basically, stand-up comedy. Absolutely hilarious. I am really, really enjoying this, guys. Let me know what else you want me to react to of Bill Burr in the comments below, you absolute legends. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button as well, and have a fantastic day. Peace.